We have Terra Luna, symbol L-U-N-A versus the dollar, and we're going to do a general overview for this one. Very interesting chart right here. One of the stronger charts had its move uh, ahead of most of the market, so I look at that as relatively strong. That is a really, really good sign for this one long term. Daily looks to me like it's putting in a higher low right above all major moving average, which is typically a good sign as well. No divergence to be accompanied by that, and actually daily jewel is a bit of a sell signal, so that would be the one um, kind of counter signal to what I'm uh, looking at right here. But overall, I would not look at that as playable as long as you're above about 33 bucks or so. Uh, so that'd be kind of like my short term invalidation. If that if that level gets taken out to the downside, I would look for another retest down around about 26 and a half to 27 bucks or so. But for right now, I, I do like this chart and I do believe that it will uh, short term test back around about 40 bucks. Look at the four hour. Yeah, here really. Um, all toadies on the ground. So this one is actually setting up for a move like very, very soon. In fact, let's go look at momentum also and see if there's get a general bias for this one. Um, let's go to a daily. Okay, daily is actually down as long as below 40 and a half. Okay, so this one does need to start moving like today. Otherwise, and actually four, I was going to be twisting down as well with any sort of a closure below 36, uh, 40. Um, very interesting then. So with volatility this low, like we are going to be looking at a resolution probably, uh, probably today, actually. Um, if it does come to the downside, I'd be looking for, like I said, a move down short term to about 30 bucks, probably bounces there, and then maybe continuation to 27. Below 27, I would no longer be long term bullish on this. Um, until that happens, though, and, and I'll even go against my momentum also, right here, I actually do think this one does pop back above 40 bucks. And if you start to see closures above there, that will obviously influence the momentum also over here. Four hours, again, 36 and a half. Daily is 40 and a half. Two day is going to be 37 and a half. And three days is going to be 40 bucks as well. So a lot of things overlaid at the $40 region. If you start to close above there today, I would look for another run just above 50 bucks short term to about uh, 52 in the next like, you know, few days, most likely. And then probably long term continuation towards uh, 75, 80 bucks um, over time. But for right now, be aware of where the invalidation is. Uh, this one's very, very interesting, actually. Very, very interesting right here. And if this one does start to move up um, uh, ahead of the rest of the market, that'd probably be another damn good sign for the, you know, for the general market. So hopefully that was helpful. Again, be aware of the invalidation, but uh, a decent setup right there. And let's just quickly look at the monthly. Not really getting too much from this, a little bit too new. So there we go. And uh, there's Luna.